little bit windy and it's cold, but the lighting is perfect for today. But the easel might be blown away. So this is the pathway down. You have to try and find good spots um, to set up when you're an artist. You, when, especially when you're painting outdoors. Um, I like going early because people are curious by nature and they do come over, but hopefully not today because because of the two meter ban, it, it actually works um, in my benefit. So I'm gonna try and get started here. I have my basket. Okay, this is gonna be, have to be very quick because the clouds have come in and it looks like it's gonna rain. So first thing I'm gonna start with is the horizon of the island. The tide's out. So I'm going to put in the green with the brown and do a line going by the cross. Okay, and then I'm going to bring that dark blue and mix it with the brown. <laughs> Sorry, this is the conditions we work in as artists. So this is a slightly bigger canvas. change the weather. So. I'm going to mix bring the dark blue over to the red. I'm going to make that bit darker here. And then for the monastery, I'm going to bring the navy in with the light blue. knocking off the <laughs> so I don't know how that happened. So, just bringing in the different colors of the rocks. sort of grey, so I'm going to bring in the light blue that I mixed with the brown. I'm just going to pour in the sea. Actually, there's lots of goats on the island as well. It's believed there's a tunnel going under the sea to here, where the monks used to do a run if they were in the the goats onto the island or onto the land. Now, the closer the sea is to us, the more you can see. So I'll just put in a few darker colours there for the, for the sea. And the sky is going to be lighter. This is a really quick video because I think I'm going to use that away. I'll finish it off at home. The sky is lighter. There is another force down here, but I, I, I need a bigger canvas. Sometimes if you're painting on a big canvas, it'll fly away like a kite. Okay, so you're bringing them up. 
then basically everything else is filling it in. You can fill it all in when you get home. But you've got the structure of it there. Anyone who's, who's done my classes knows that the right side, the elements add to it, the birds, the wind, the nature, all of that. So I'm just going to add, I just want to get a bit more detail. The island sort of comes down. orange on my palette and there's an awful lot of orange um, in the background there on the rocks. I'm just going to highlight them as pink but I'll know when I get home that they're orange. Okay. And there's lots of wild horse. Okay, I've enough there to keep me going. very windy red tow car. Okay, this is the one we started down. It was very windy, so I'm back in the lovely warm studio. Have my hot water bottle here to keep me, to keep my center warm. So, I'm re I actually am really happy with what I did down there. I just need to finish it off in here. And it's coloring in all the white bits basically. So, colouring around that tree. Mm. Now, the closer this is to you, the more detail this can be because it's in the front. So I'm gonna add that lovely crimson colour with the blues and it just makes really nice purples at the bottom. But I just love Sorrento Park. I think it's Sorrento Park. Mm -hmm. I'm just colouring in. And then mixing the white into the water. Okay, and I'm going to bring in more green to the island. I never use green on its own. I always mix it with a bit of red or mix it with a bit of blue. So I'm just going to do more onto the island. I know Dalky very well. My mother was born in Dalky and it was considered the sticks way back then. So they grew up in the old dispensary centre. Now, of course, um, no one lives there because the price of property. <laughs> However, it is in my jurisdiction because I'm in um, Ballybrack. So, here we go. Now, I didn't have any orange with me down in the wind. So, I'm at, down on when I was painting outside. So, I'm going to mix a bit of orange and bring it in. There's so much orange orange on the rocks down there and this is when the tide's out. As I swim in the sea every day I always know about the tides and the full moons and all of that. Okay and then the black. I'm gonna make my black navy and red and just bring it in here. So there's a bit of a shadow And then I'm still going to bring in that tree that we saw down there. Now I'm going to put another branch coming across. See, just a few more at the front here. Do it with your left hand if you're too afraid of being loose. Okay. 
Now the sky is always going to be lighter. So I'm going to bring in, ooh, hold on, I probably need to get some more white here. I have more of a pink. Bring in some blues. Sort of a grey colour. Hold on, I get more white. There's my white. I'll go through an awful lot of white paint. That's another thing about the the fibers is I don't know why I'm laughing because I did did do a lot of crying, but I ordered tons of paint for all my classes. So um, yeah, the positive side is I'm getting to use up all that paint myself. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So we've got the sky. There's another one. So it's got the soul. The soul of the painting is when we got blown out of it down there this morning. And this is the fixing up part. And then I'm going to add a bit of white. And I'm going to add some white to the sea. So where the sea meets the island, you're always going to have a bit of white, the waves. Sometimes if you're down here in the summer, you can see beautiful big yachts passing by. Now, and I'm going to put, add a bit of yellow. So I'm going to add that little bit of lemon yellow mixed with white. And I'm just going to put little highlights on the island. So with the tower, one side of course is going to be darker than the other. sign it in a nice lemon yellow Boom. okay there you go <laughs> job done